welcome back to my channel for another video so today's video is going to be a very fun interesting video because it is in preparation for me going to coachella oh yes i will be going to california to attend coachella for the first time i will be going on the second weekend i'm so very excited it is literally 16 days away from today the day i'm filming this you guys probably won't see this until like this video is going to be a fat girl's guide to surviving coachella Coachella, any music festival, you go to Lollapalooza, where you go to Afropunk, any festival where there's a local festival in your town or your city or your state, any event, actually it could be any event where you're going to be up walking around outside all day thing. I like festivals, I like events, whether it's like a music festival like Lollapalooza or like the Chicago Food Truck Festival or like just a small festival like Comet like Comfest in Columbus, Ohio. I like festivals like that, as well as just walking around, going for adventures. And these are some of the things that I wish I had or I brought and I come to love and use doing these certain events. So let's get into it. So I have it back here, so you guys are gonna hear rustling. Um, and the reason why it's in the bag, because I literally, I went to the store yesterday and the day before, and was picking up a few things just in preparation for my trip. I'm so excited, my trip is 16 days away. I'm so freaking excited. Yes, you guys are going to get more than one video about Coachella. Why? Because I'm going to Coachella. Number one. Like, most important thing, if you're going to survive any music festival, any event when you're up, at, when you're up and walking around all day, are some comfortable shoes, especially some comfortable shoes that are going to be like disposable shoes. You don't want to go to a music festival that has a lot of sand, dirt, or mud and walking around some shoes that you really love, really fond of, that you want to wear again because you're going to ruin those. So I picked up these little um, uh, sneaker shoes. They almost look like Converse's but not quite. Almost like band shoes from Target. I picked these up from Target. These were only $12.99 which is basically $13 which is about the most cheap as far as comfortable shoes you, you could get. I like the fact that these are canvas. I like the fact that they have a nice thick sole. They have traction on the bottom. And for me, I need a little bit more support than just these because these are kind of flat. I picked up some new insoles to go inside of the shoes. So these are going to be perfect. These are the gel art shoes for everyday heel inserts. I picked up these as a one pair. These just go slip right inside of your shoes. These are going to be perfect and comfortable. You can also pick up the Dr. Shaw's or there's another brand. I will leave links of these below, but you definitely want to get you some comfortable yet disposable shoes that you can walk around with, get funky and get dirty in them. I picked up these white shoes. They're going to be extremely dirty, but most of my outfits and colors are light colors and white, so the white will go well with it. Number two. The second most important thing you're going to need as a big girl to make sure that you are comfortable as well as you'll be able to last an entire day outside or walking around or whatever you're doing, it's, especially if it's during the warmer weather, summer, springtime, and you want to wear your cute skirts and your cute dresses and your cute shorts. And the one thing us as big girls we all worry about is chafing, a.k.a. chub bub. Don't pretend like you don't know what I'm talking about. If you're a big girl, if you have thick thighs, you know what I mean when I say chafing the shove rub. It is real. That stuff hurts. It burns. You want to die. I have ended many of trips with my friends or my siblings and just been pissed mad because we're walking. They're skinny. They're smaller than me. We're walking. My thighs are just thumping together I want to scream and strangle them by their skinny little necks because they continue to walk and I want to sit down and pour water in my crotch okay I got personal there but you guys know what I mean just want to take a dose of water and pour it in between your thighs because it feel like fire it feel like fire okay and you, you, you shouldn't be putting fire down there that's not okay you should get that checked if you do but the point is so I picked up this Monistat Complete Care Chafing Relief Powder Cream. I've never used this before. I usually just put oil or a nice thick heavy cream down there. That helped. But that's something I usually have to reapply within a few hours. So I, I wanted to pick up something that was going to last me more than a few hours. And I was small enough to me to carry around. So this is the Daily Prevention, Prevention and Relief of Chafing and Irritation. Forms a breathable moisture control barrier to fight friction. 
it dries to a silky finish i've looked at some reviews about this watching videos about this so i'm excited to see how this is going to work out and it comes in this little tube it's going to fit perfect inside my fanny pack or my backpack i don't have to worry about carrying around a big tub or having to reapply and if i'm somewhere where i could just strictly reapply this if i need to because this is going to be an all-day thing i can do so with this with this and i'm very interested to see how this works wish me luck guys i would hate to get all the way to california and don't bring nothing else and this fails on me i'm gonna be pissed i'm gonna be crying i'm gonna be pissed number three thing you want to bring of me as a big girl is something that I always constantly something I always constantly worry about and that's just remaining fresh through at the beginning of the day and throughout the day I hate situations where I'm going and I'm hot and I'm sweaty and I'm worried about how I smell if I funky smell and as a big girl that is something I really worry about I, and these are two products that I really really like one of my friend put me onto one of them and I kind of found this one on my own so another thing that you want to bring with you especially if you're going to be out at a place outside where there's not actual bathroom you have to use a porta party or whatever the situation you want to bring a few things to help you stay refreshed to help you get refreshed and stay refreshed the first one you want to start your day off with using a deodorant spray for your nether regions and i love the summer eves um what is this yeah the summer east island refreshing spray i use this in the morning as i'm getting ready and putting on my clothes I'm sorry. I spray this right after I put my underwear on, whether I'm wearing a pair of shorts, a skirt, or a pair of pants, just to give me a refreshing date. And I really do notice a difference when I'm wearing this and when I'm not wearing this, especially when I've been out all day and I've been sweaty. This really does make a difference, guys. Like, seriously, it's important. Because you don't want to be somewhere and you dancing, you moving around, you sitting around, your legs are opening and closing, and you just <sighs> waffling off the steam. <laughs> You want to make sure so you're not feeling self-conscious, you're feeling comfortable and clean as possible. You want to start your day off using this. The next step also with that, so this is like 3.5, is the same um, Summer Ease. And this is their Sheer 4 Cleansing Cloths. I absolutely like these cloths. I use, I have a, the pack, the actual pack of these that come like in the baby, baby white packs in my bathroom. But I like these little um, on-the-go traveling ones because these are absolutely perfect. It is the 5-in-1, so it gently cleans and refreshes, removes auto-causing bacteria, helps maintain pH balance, and free free from dyes and parabens, as well as clinically tested and safe and safe scent. I have very sensitive skin uh, all of my body, and I have a very sensitive hoo-ha, and I can't just be using anything down here. I like these cleansing cloths, these little uh, Summer Eve's cloths, for when I'm on the go and I'm using the bathroom, especially when it's that time of month. And you just want to smell a little bit more freshen, and you just don't feel comfortable with the tissue. You feel like you need a little bit extra besides the tissue. So these come in these little box right here, and they're little individually wrapped little packets. They're wet. These are perfect to put in your purse, put in your pocket. You either put this in your clutch if you're going out and you're not carrying like an actual bag. You're carrying like a little clutch or a little wristlet. These are small. I take two, maybe three of them with me at a time, depending on how long I'm going to be out. These are perfect for you using the bathroom when you're on the go. And you just want to get a little bit extra clean. As well as you can also use these, not just down there. You can also use these, you know, under your armpits, around your neck. Just to refresh it up almost like... If you just feel a little too sweaty, a little too stank, a little too, a little too sweaty, a little too funky, you just want to use these just to refresh it up. These are uber important. So number four. This one is obviously important because just something you put on every day at the beginning of the day. Just like with the uh, refresher spray from Summer Eve, this is something I put on every day. However, sometimes you need to freshen up. You don't really think about it. You don't really think about using and refreshing this product because most of us buy this product to last the entire day. Well, there are times when you're really stressed, you're really moving, or you're at the festival, you're out, you're sweaty, or you could have been to a water park and you got in the water and you played around using the water splashing around and you're worried about this product losing its power after all of that. So you want to bring you something where you can easily use this on the go. 
I picked up this Secret Fresh and Go deodorant. Um, this is a fairly new product. I've just been seeing review on um, reviews and commercials on this, and I thought it was kind of interesting. I use you 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 can just buy the deodorant travel size and don't have no problems. But I like the concept on this on the go bomb um little ball thing. It's it's super cute by the way anyway but i like the fact that you can literally pull it out no one is see with this no one knows you're pulling out a ball of deodorant okay it could it almost look like a bigger version of the eos lip balm so people could just think that you're refreshing your lip balm and really you're just hoo -hoo, hoo -hoo, good to go so this is important for all day festival thing Number five, this is the last and final thing that you would need as your survival guide for surviving Coachella, any music festival, any event where you're outside all day, and that is breathable, comfortable clothes. You want to give your body a chance to breathe. It's hot. You don't want to be sweaty, and it's hot, and your clothes are stinky and clinging to you, and it's tight. You can't breathe. You can't move around. I know with some girls, people... Some big girls think that the less clothes, the better, and the more skin tight, the better, because you're big and you wanna, you don't want to look bigger. You want to show off your body. But tight clothes, tight and fitted are two different things. We don't want tight. We want fitted. And we don't. And in this situation, we don't want fitted. We want loose and flowy. So things like maxi skirts and maxi dresses that have a little bit more flow and ease, something that made with a little bit of chiffon, a little sheer material, are perfect. Things made like crepe pants. Pants with the wide legs that flare are beautiful. Off the shoulders tops or spaghetti thread shops that flow with the sleeves are perfect for this weather because you want to be able to move and walk around. You don't want to have your clothes stick you don't have your clothes sticking to you and worry about your waistband being too tight and you can't move around because you're up and you're walking and you have to keep pulling at your straps. You don't want to worry about any of that. You just want to be as comfortable as possible and dance, dance and move to your heart's content. So you make you want to make sure that you get some comfortable clothes. So now I have a few honorable mentions just to help with anyone who actually is going to Coachella themselves. Anyone who's going to a music festival and it's going to be hot and warm and you just want to keep refreshed and just making sure you just your makeup stays good if you're going to be wearing makeup. Um, as well as just making sure you're comfortable. Okay? So because it is California and the sun is going to be out in full force, I actually did the weather today. It is a beautiful 90 degrees in California. I've never experienced California weather, so 90 degrees could be terrible. But right now, it is 32 degrees in Chicago. I'm over it. So the sun is out. You want to make sure you're protected. So you want to make sure that you're getting the proper protection from the sun yes black girls black women we need sunscreen okay we may not have immediate signs of sun cancer but we still need it we need to protect this melon this melon just don't be <laughs> you know we gotta protect this so two products i want to talk about real quick are sunscreen protective and lotion that has sunscreen bra pad protection in it right now i'm using this mirad invisible blur protecting shield and i use this underneath my primer before i'm putting on my makeup and some days even when i'm not wearing makeup but i'm going outside and whether it's sunny or not whether the cloud it's uv rays are real so you want to have some type of sunscreen whether it's in your foundation in your moisturizer or in your primer and i have Next, you want to have a lotion or some kind of cream or some kind of oil with SPF. You want to put it on your body. Another thing, you don't, another thing, you don't want to be wearing something that's really heavy to make you more sweaty, but you do want to protect the skin. I like this Jergens Natural Glow, and this is the one in the Protection Daily Moisturizer with Sunscreen. I use this one. This one has a broadband of 20, and this is for medium to dark skin. I don't use it to darken my skin coat or to add color. I use it specifically for the broadband. Now, when I'm feeling a little, when I'm feeling a little bit more adventurous and I want to show off more skin and be all glowy, I will add like a liquid. Um, I will add like liquid highlighter to this, especially around my shoulders and my arms, just a little bit more shimmery, little sun. You can go in with a cream highlighter or a liquid highlighter. You don't have to add it to your lotion, but I do like this because. It has SPF. That is important. Next thing is when you're all day, it's hot, you're sweaty, and your face is feeling tight and dry or whatever the situation, 
or you're sweating your life away, you need to refresh and apply your face. I like to bring me around some facial sprays. I carry facial sprays in my purse every day, whether it's in the dead of winter or in the hot smack dab of summer. I like to keep facial sprays just to refresh in my face, wake my face up. I have dry skin and it really does help whether I'm wearing makeup or not. One brand that I really love are the Mario Podeshi facial sprays. This one here is the one with aloe vera, cameron, um, lavender. Caramine and lavender. I also like the rose water um, one as well as the cucumber one. But this is the recent one I picked up. I keep this. I, I have a little smaller bottle of this that I take with me and I carry it around in my bag. And then I have the big one for in the mornings when I'm getting ready or refreshing my face. You don't want to purchase these because they're a little bit out of your price range. You can always try as the Eva um, water. I also found these at Ulta as well as I think I've seen this at the Walmart. These are the smaller size. This is just a quick little... It just refreshes the face. You just It's like a mist. This one is pure water. This is just water. This one has oils and whatnots and abstracts in it. So it's a little bit more healthy for the skin. A little bit more properties and quantities, whatever. You know, a little bit more fancy, dancing if you want to get fancy. But this is just water just to help refresh the face. Okay, guys, that is it. I feel like that video was all over the place. But I wanted to sit down and tell you guys the five things that you need to survive Coachella or any music festival or any event where you're going to be up and walking around all day. And I also threw in some of my favorites just to help with just the maintaining of your skin and your makeup. So, guys, I'm excited to go to Coachella, obviously. Also, if you haven't seen, I have launched Patreon. My Patreon page is finally up and live. I'm so very excited. If you guys want to see more contact, if you guys want to get more exclusive behind the scene contact on a monthly basis, as well as help support Full Style so they can be able to grow and expand, head over to my Patreon page. The link is in the description box below. And so, and show your support by pledging five, ten, twenty, fifty, even a hundred dollars a month. Each tier of pledge comes with all those special rewards to show my appreciation on how much you mean to me for showing your support and love. Okay, guys, I'm gonna let you guys go because I have another video to film and I've been talking too much and I feel like this video is going to be longer than 10 minutes. I am sorry. Anywho guys, thank you so much for watching. I, I love you so very much but always remember to love yourself fully. Until next time.